Okay, so um, the plan uh, for this video is to remove, well, I'm gonna start, I don't know how far we'll get, but uh, I, I plan on removing all of the z-axis. Um, and the first step will be to um, remove the, the motor. So um, this I've done before. I've been using this uh, machine. I, I never uh, mentioned that, but I've been using this machine at work for nearly three years now uh, before I bought it from my bus. So um, I know it a bit. Uh, the straps uh, on this machine um, keep on breaking all the time. I've replaced them quite a few times. So. This bit I know. I know how to get access to the straps and I'm going to remove all of this block here. Uh, remove uh, the, the block here. Um, and then uh, once the straps are uh, removed, we'll, we'll uh, tackle the, the motor. So uh, stay tuned. The first time I had to change the straps um, I hadn't noticed this uh, panel underneath uh, the z-axis and uh, well it's a lot more painful to uh, to, to get access to uh, the two s screws that hold this uh, block there this one and the other one there so from uh, from below it's way easier uh, access Here you can see them uh, much better, these two screws. You get access with uh, the unscrew with a three quarter inch uh, box. And if you have uh, extensions like that, it's super easy. So now what we want to remove right now is uh, an aluminum uh, block um, that guides the straps and to get to be able to remove it you need to take this uh, screw out and um, and also uh, this uh, standoff here and even uh, even then it, you have to uh, <laughs> to find a way uh, how to take the block out and there you go that's uh, what we wanted out you need to remove this if you want to uh, change the straps and now um, taking away all the all these bits are uh, about the tool changer uh, it pushes on the drawbar and here I'm removing the straps using a screwdriver this is what pushes on the drawbar to uh, release the, the tools pretty uh, simple mechanism I'm wondering if it would be possible to modify the spindle to uh, to have a uh, through spindle coolant. That would be great. Might not be so difficult, but I don't know. I'll have to check this out. I've watched a video from Antman, link uh, down below, uh, where he uh, um, took off the, the spindle motor and he nearly dropped it and ended up uh, strapping it uh, this way so uh, this is where I got my inspiration uh, on how to uh, <coughs> to uh, strap the, the the motor I guess it, I went a bit uh, overboard but uh, better be safe than sorry so 
So here I'm uh, re removing the, the the two remaining uh, bolts. So here we go. The motor is free. <coughs> Mission accomplished. Now um, next uh, we'll try to get that uh, z-axis uh, casting uh, and spindle uh, off, which should be uh, much uh, harder. It's a very heavy part. So uh, thank you very much for watching uh, that far. Um, I hope it's not too boring. Um, should get more interesting uh, once we start uh, putting it uh, all back together. Right now it's just taking it apart. Uh, not the most interesting stuff, but uh, bear with me. I guess uh, there's, it'll be fun in the future. <laughs> Again, thank you. Bye.